Hey guys, Jamie here, and today I want to kick off a little series I'm going to be doing about what are called design smells. And a design smell is something in code, like the way the code is structured, which somehow makes it less efficient, less secure, less maintainable. Somehow it's just a bad practice. They're called design smells. All right, and the first one I have for you today is called code duplication. All right, and let's look at a little example of why code duplication might be bad. All right, so say, say you're writing a project. Okay, and then let's say that uh, you have, let's say it's just a website. All right, let's say that um, you have a home page or something like that. All right, page one, it's right here. Okay. And let's say you have a page two. Let me make sure you guys can see that. Yeah, that looks good. All right, now let's say on the home page, you have some sort of interactable component, some sort of like, some sort of piece right here, which is also present on the other page, but maybe in a different location, maybe down here at the bottom. All right, and let's call this A. All right, let's call it piece A. And then the rest of these pages are entirely different. Let's say that up here at the top of your page, you know, you have your header. All right, and then here you have some paragraphs. And then over here, let's say you have, um, you know, starts off with a smaller header, All right, page two. All right, has some additional paragraphs, maybe has a form that you can fill out or something like that. All right, so these pages are different, right? Page A, this is your home page, has the A component and then some, some text, and then page two, header, text, form, and then the same, same exact looking thing. Well, what happens is if you if you design your page wrong, like if you build your web page the wrong way, you'll end up writing A twice. All right, so the first time you do it, it's twice as much work, right? Like technically you can copy and paste it. Copy and paste the code into um, like the code in page two, and then you might think it's okay. But then if you ever need to change anything about A, like maybe, maybe, in A, you decide to add like a little something like a button right here. All right. Well, that button is going to need to be duplicated over here now. So now you had to write it twice. All right. And indeed, every time you change A, you'll have to make the change twice. And so this why this is why code duplication is a design smell is because it's not just a one off like you had to copy and paste it once. Right, it's every time it changes, you have to change it. All right, and this gets even worse. Like this is only if there's two of them, All right? But imagine if you had like three pages that had A on it or four. All right, and some pages they use a similar component across like all the pages, like a header or something like that. And so um, code duplication is really bad as you can tell, right? It's a lot of extra work for you. like. Like now that you're aware of the problem, it should always just be like, oh, I, I want to avoid code duplication because it'll just make my life easier. Should be very, very obvious that that's the case. All right, and uh, with web development in particular, um, frameworks are a great way to help you avoid this problem. So the framework that I like using is called Angular. All right, and I'm in the process of building a full Angular course. If you're interested in that, I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, but that is just, this is just for web development, like Angular would just solve that for web development, but this is a problem across all code projects, right? Like if your project is not even web-based, it's like a game, it's maybe like some server application, this this problem will exist across all, um, all technologies, all tech stacks, whenever you're writing a project. Um, there will be similar things in like different parts of your application, different parts of your program. And so 
this is design smell number one. All right, we'll number these. And this is called code duplication. Okay, code duplication. And I recommend against it at all costs. <laughs> all right, guys, just a short little video for you today. Um, let me know if you like this video by leaving a like on it and leaving a comment down below. What are your thoughts on code duplication? Um, let me know if you want to see more videos in this series. There are a lot of things which can help you become a more efficient programmer. All right, avoiding code duplication is one of those things, but there are also a lot of more, again, like I call them design smells, things that you can see the signs of by like the the sign of code duplication is just if you simply see something written twice all right and it's not everything like not things of any size like like if you had like a sentence here that was the same across both probably not that big of a deal but like the bigger the thing is the worse it gets if you duplicate it okay all right yeah, so guys, that is code duplication. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Let me know if you want to see more videos in this series about um, design smells and how to recognize them and how to fix them with web code um, in this particular example. If you're using Angular, this is like a piece of the page, and so you would use a component to fix that. All right, and the solution would be different depending on what technology you're using. Um, but for me, I teach Angular, and so the solution in Angular would be to make a component and simply place that component in each respective page. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.